I thought it was interesting. Um, Red Bull sim driver, Jake Dennis, he told fans what they can expect from the RB20. And he said, we've got an extremely fast race car again uh, at the Red Bull team. So, okay, shocker there. He said, I would expect us to become champions again unless someone like Ferrari or Mercedes somehow manages to find about a second per lap overnight. I think it's going to be quite a dull season in Formula One with Max probably dominating again. Nate, what say you? Is that the expectation you have if the RB20 is as fast as Jake Dennis says? Or do you do you foresee Ferrari, Mercedes, McLaren making making up some ground here? Well, <clears throat> I've got two parts to this answer. One is one is uh, okay. potentially shows my my view on Formula E. But I think Jake Dennis is coming at that as a spokesperson from Formula E rather than just a, a Red Bull driver. I think he's saying Formula One's going to be so rubbish this year. AKA you should watch Formula E, which in my opinion <laughs> you'd be better off not doing. Um, but I don't think there's any re- I don't think there's any reason to doubt what he's saying either, purely because we saw how far ahead Red Bull was last year. Obviously, we talked about the fact that um, they decided, you know, they've turned their attention to this year's car so early. Max is just on another level in terms of you know his form. I mean, how good he was in 2021 was one thing. 22, he stepped that up a notch, and then last season. I mean, he just destroyed Sergio Perez, you know, it, it never, other than Singapore and a handful of other races, obviously, that Perez won, never really felt like Max was, was you know, ever under serious pressure to lose. So I think with that combination, you've got to expect that Max is going to win a lot of races this year. Um, and I think I predicted it at the end of last season. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he beats his own record again this year, just because of where that team is. You know, as an operation, as a race operation, it's the best on the grid right now. You know, they very rarely take missteps when it comes to upgrading the car. Um, so yeah, I, I I I agree with Jake Dennis, but I think his um his statement was probably more as a a pitch for Formula E. But um, but to be fair to him, he would know better than a lot of people, given the fact that he has that insight into the um into the team. Obviously, it's in it. You know, I don't think he'd be in a position to say that you know we've made a terrible <laughs> terrible mistake on development and we've gone the wrong way. Obviously, we'll see a month from now when when they're testing. But it would take something pretty monumental for Red Bull not to be not to be you know, firmly in front. And we saw this with Mercedes, you know, when Mercedes got out in front in 2014, they stayed there for years. They had a great car to build on. They had Lewis driving brilliantly for a lot of that time. And Red Bull have the same thing. It's just a formula. And, you know, similar if you go back to Schumacher and Ferrari, you know, almost it's like a cascade effect, isn't it? It just gets better and better and better. But for the rivals, it just gets further and further away. So I hope I'm wrong, obviously, but I think um, if there is any convergence towards things, I think it'll be closer. So convergence towards Red Bull, I think we'll get that you know, going into 2025, you know, maybe towards the end of this year rather than in a meaningful way this season. But um, maybe last year just killed <laughs> killed all of my optimism. I don't know because I sound quite pessimistic saying all that. You do. You do. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, if, hey, if, if, Max, if Max doesn't win the first race, I'll reverse all of that. But, you know, you just okay. got to be realistic at this point. Lawrence, um, I'll give you the floor to maybe change our minds and get us excited for the season for different ways. Do you have any confidence that Ferrari, Mercedes, or McLaren can uh, make up some ground here? Yeah, I, I do. I'm probably a hopeless okay. optimist in this. And uh, maybe I'm kidding myself just to kind of make sure that, yeah, I'm still in this position in a year's time and I haven't got bored enough. <laughs> but no, I think, no, I, I think it will converge. I think it will converge. Um because some of the mistakes that Ferrari and Mercedes made in their concepts right from the very start have slowly been unpicked and understood. And I feel like um, there's a potential step to be made. And yeah, to go back to Jake Dennis's quote, I don't know how seriously we take it and all that kind of stuff. And he says they need to find a second per lap. And that is a huge amount. Uh, certainly if it's relative to Red Bull, that is a, an awful lot because Red Bull will make a step over the winter as well. Let's not forget. But then if you look at, say, what McLaren did midway through last year uh, from the first race uh, with an uh, upgrade of Baku, which was kind of like a very much baseline upgrade, and then a serious upgrade in Austria and then continuous upgrades throughout the year. You know, they relative to Red Bull, they did find about kind of 0.8, maybe even a second um, in performance uh, over, over that period of time. So if you find, if you go for a big concept change and you get it right and you can start to you know, dig away at performance, whereas previously you were coming up against all sorts of roadblocks, then um, then that does deliver deliver a lot of potential. And that's that's my hope, is that 
what Ferrari and Mercedes have found since changing their concepts is enough to take a big step. Whereas undoubtedly Red Bull will make a step again uh, because, you know, they're an incredibly good Formula One team. Perhaps, you know, the the size of the step they can take, considering they're more likely to stick with a very similar concept going forward, uh, could be smaller. And that's the kind of convergence that we tend to expect and sometimes see, not always, but sometimes see in, in regulations the longer they, they stay the same. So, um, so that's my hope. Um, I may well be wrong, but yeah, I'm at least going to go into the season. Even we haven't even seen a car launch yet, so I'm at least going to, at this stage, <laughs> yeah. retain some optimism <laughs> that there could be a challenge for the championship. I just want to clarify: that's my hope as well. It's not. It's not my hope that Red Bull Max does win every race. Um, but, I, uh, uh, I like the balance between the two of you. Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> um, but I think, I mean, yeah. The I think Lawrence is right in the fact that. Over the course of a year, I'd be surprised if, let's say, Red Bull are way ahead. I'd be really surprised mm-hmm. if they finished the year in as dominant shape because I think we, what we did see last year, is every team as they made an upgrade, mm-hmm. at least at some point, you know, bar bar the Haas one we mentioned earlier, people seem to be making steps forward in a tangible way every time. So I think that we are starting to see that now. So hopefully that continues. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.